Kaura. Welcome to Wake Up New Zealand. I'm Kisan. And I'm Seth. In today's stories, a new crime wave is sweeping the country. In the form of woolen graffiti, scientists have invented an invisibility cloak. We help them find it in the latest weather update. But first up, oh, but first up, if you think the world is getting more and more topsy turvy, it turns out you're right. But well, builders in Germany have built an upside down house which rests on its roof inside there. Inside there are beds screwed into the ceiling, upside down. Wardrobes, an upside down kitchen and even an upturned bathroom. We cross now to our reporter, Kafia. Thanks. I'm here with the owner of the upside down house. Kia ora, my name is Kara. In the builder. What made you decide to build this upside down house? Well, when I was growing up, I liked to do handstands. What's your favourite thing about living in a house that's completely upside down? I find it way easier to change the light bulbs and to dust the ceiling fan. What are some of the challenges of living in this house? It's hard to go to the toilet and it's hard to cook my kitchen's on me. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Back to you, Seth. Now for a story that is truly out of sight. Scientists in Europe have created an invisibility cloak which can hide behind object, objects by bending light waves. Hello, I'm Ruby Takawa and with me is Aria, the scientist behind the, um, the invisible cloak. So what made you want to invent an invisibility So I can hide so, and so nobody can see me. Can you show me how it works? Flippin' flamingos. What do you hope the cloak will be used for? So I can steal some lollies and food. Well, that makes things very clear. Thank you. Back to you. In the Thanks, Lily. Next up, there's a new wave of graffiti crime in covering the country. That, thanks to an underground gang known as the Midnight Knitters. Without permission, these woolly criminals are covering tree branches and lampposts with jerseys and scarves in the dead of night. Police say we are stitching together a case, but there is no real pattern to the crimes. We cross now to Charlie with an exclusive interview. What led you into the dark underworld of knitting graffiti? I want to share the knitting skills my nan taught me. Do you see yourself as a criminal? Why? Why not? Oh no, not me. I'm just dressing the town. Apart from trees and lampposts, what else is, would you like to graffiti with your woman? Um, cover all the schools so we can we can't go back. Back to Yuki-san at the studio. Well, at least they'll be warm if they get caught and go to jail. Now let's have a look at the weather update and up and down the country with Kingston. What's in store?
Start again. Right now? Wait, wait. The thing between. Thank you, Seth. Let's have a look at tomorrow's weather. In Oakland, there will be a mix of unfair conditions and fair conditions. But those are the conditions that you just have to accept, Karen, because I get paid minimum wage. There will be no weather at all for Hamilton. It's taken a short holiday, but it's expected to be back for the weekend. Wellington will have another capital day with no ones at all, so keep calm and carry on. Christchurch will be cold and unfriendly until the late morning. Then though the sun will pop up over for a visit. Everyone likes the sun. That's all for me now. It's back to the news. Thanks, Kingston. Well, that's all we have time for. We hope you've enjoyed today's show. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you again next time. Until then, I'm Seth. And I'm Kisan for Wake Up New Zealand. Ma, Ma te wa. Te wa. Yep.